While you're standing, turn your Bibles to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. We will open up with the book of Joshua, chapter 1, we left off at on last week. We're just simply talking about success strategies. Uh, these are the lessons that God allowed us and blessed us to give over in Jamaica. The people were very receptive, and we got a praise report even on our way leaving that people were getting baptized after the success strategies mission was completed. So give God just a round of praise. Give God a round of praise. Success strategy. Let's stand and let's make this confession together and then we will go into the word of God. And I, I thank God today my tag team partner is here. Now I got to admit y'all, we, we need your energy. We got in this morning in Houston at about midnight and then we had a situation on the plane where we didn't get home till about 1.30 this morning, but we're ready to give you the word of God. Amen. In the book of Joshua, chapter 1. But let's make this confession together. This is my Bible. This is my Bible. And today, and today I, declare I declare it to be, it to be my, final my final authority. authority. I can be, I can be successful, successful because, because the, Bible the Bible says, says I can. I I give God a shout of praise. Let's turn our Bibles to the opening scripture of Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. We shared it with you on last week, and we want to go back to it just quickly to demonstrate to you what the Word of God says about your level of success. The reading of God's Word, Joshua chapter 1, verse 7 and 8. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all that's in the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Turn not from it from the right hand and from the left that you may prosper wherever you go. That's good news on today. Amen. Verse number 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth but you shall meditate therein day and night that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein for then, oh, I love this right here. For then you shall make your way prosperous, and then you shall have great success. Holler back at me as you take your seat. I can have great success. Say it again as you take your seat. I can have great success. Now make it personal success. Belong to me. Amen, amen, amen. Now, on, on last week, we began success strategies, and we opened up with a parable of Jesus, but we took the time to describe to you the audience that was around Jesus, a diverse crowd to make sure you understood, no matter where you're from, you can be successful. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. And once you grab hold to the word of God, you're on your way to the road of success. So today we come to give you some more principles on how to be successful. But last week we want to share with you and show you it is for everybody. Because one of the attacks of the enemy is to make you feel like you are eliminated from success process. Maybe you feel like I'm too old. Maybe you feel like I'm too this or too that. Or I had a rough beginning. When I come to share with you the greatest stories in the word of God happen for people who came up on the wrong side. I wish I had somebody this morning that had made their mind up no matter how rough my beginning was when I got to the world. God made a way out, out of no way. Everybody, get this, everybody can have success. But as I discovered through life and through reading John Maxwell's books on leadership, everybody can have success, but unfortunately, everybody won't because everybody won't do what it takes to have success. But I'm going to change your mindset. We've come to tag team to overload you and to encourage you to make your mind up. So is a man dig it, so is he. You got to think you got to overcome. You got to think you're a winner. You got to think you're successful so the word of God can work in your life. And today we didn't come to play but to give you what you need to be successful. So in this book of Luke, chapter 8. Let's go there. Luke chapter 8. Yes. It's a very familiar parable. Uh -huh. 
but it's filled with explosive seed right. to make you successful yes, Lord. if you hear and do the word of God. You don't understand, but we will read this parable together and then we will explode over you principles of success strategies. Yes. Luke chapter 8. Let's begin reading with verse number 4. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spoke by a parable. A farmer went out to sow his seed. And as he was scattering the seed, some fell along the path, and it was trampled on, and the birds of the air ate it up. And some fell upon a rock, and was soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture or roots. Other seeds fell among the thorns, which grew up with it and choked the plants. And some fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. His disciples asked him, what is this parable really mean? Yeah. Now, we see in this parable, the Bible says a farmer went out to spread seed. The seed, get this, the seed is the word of God. And notice something. There are different categories of receiving the word of God, but everybody received the same word. So today I challenge you, as you get this word, understand something. If it has worked for anybody, anywhere in the whole wide world, the excuse has been eliminated that it won't work for you. The farmer sold the same word to everybody. Somebody got blessed and somebody stayed cursed. Somebody got rich and somebody stayed poor. I promise you there were two brothers from the same side of the same track, same mother, same father, same preacher, same Bible, one with the school and one with the jail, because one heard the word, received the word, and believed the word, and one said it wouldn't work for me. My question is, boy, which one are you? Will you get this word and work this word and become all the word said that you were? Pastor Sanders, tell us how to obtain success through the word of God. Pastor Decker, now the word of God said that the former went out. Well, who was the former this morning? The former was Jesus. It said that the former went out and did what? He scattered the seed. What is the seed? The word of God. So Jesus went out and he scattered the word. So this morning God has sent us to do what? Scatter the word that you can be successful. Oh, come on. You got to get it this morning because if you can't say it, you're not going to get it. Because if you can verbalize it, then you'll be able to put it in your heart. Amen. The, the Bible says that God went out and he did what? Scatter the what? He scattered the word. But the problem is if Jesus went out and he scattered the word, he only scattered one word. It fell away.
Philippians 4 and 13. Yeah. Amen. The Bible yeah. said that God sowed the seed. Yeah. He threw the word out this morning. Yeah. Why are you not growing, man of God? Yeah. Why are you in the same shape you were in last year this time? Yeah. Yeah. Woman of God, why is your place? Why are you still in the same place you were last year this time? Yeah. What has happened? What is going on? Why is there no growth in the body of Christ? Why do we look the same? Why do we act the same? Why do we talk the same? There's no holiness in the kingdom of God. There's no righteousness in the kingdom of God. We look like the world. We act like the world. But the Bible said that God sent the word out. The word of God should be making a difference. The word of God should bring change. The word of God should bring deliverance. The word of God should bring breakthrough. Y'all not going to make me doubt the word. I saw folk hungry for the word. You not going to sit there and make me act, think the word don't taste good. You not going to make me think the word is bitter. I just saw folks saying, feed me, Jesus, till I won't no more. You not going to make me think the word is different in Houston. Than it is in Jamaica. The word was being scattered. After you've heard the word, you must shake the devil off. Then you must stay connected. Then you must sustain under pressure. And then you get the blessing of verse 15. But but cancels everything that just tried to happen to you. But on that good ground, I wish I had somebody in here this morning that was not confessing, I'm that good ground, I'm that good ground, I'm that good ground, but on that good ground, they are which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit. Yes. with patience up to a hundredfold. Yes. I don't know about you, but I love the word of God because the word of God always gives me increase. Yes. The word of God always advances my life. Yes. Listen, listen, listen. Watch this. The most amazing story I heard recently was when I read again The Audacity of Hope by yes. President Barack Obama. Yes. I noticed something I didn't see the first time I read it. He said, I grew up in a dysfunctional home. Oh. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Yes. I grew up in a dysfunctional home yes, under the teaching of Allah, uh -huh. Islam. Yes, and some of my family members were atheists, yes. and some of my family members even practiced Buddhism. Yes. See, but when I got under the word, yes. he said, yes. I heard one day a preacher yes. start talking about Jesus. Yes. And the president said, I realized there was more than Buddha. There was more than Muhammad. He said, when I heard about Jesus, something got on the inside of me. He said, when I heard about Jesus, something happened to me. He said, my mind changed. My vision changed. My energy changed. The everything about me changed. When I heard about Jesus, and then they invited me to the Democratic National Convention. He said, they gave me a mic in seven minutes. He said, when I got up to the platform, nobody knew my name. Nobody knew where I was from. Nobody had ever heard of me. So I stood and I told America, you got to believe. You just got to believe. You see, I just thought telling America, you just got to believe. You just got to believe. You just got to believe. And four years later, the president of the United States, number 44, was President Barack Obama. Or you understand what I'm saying? In the same America that lynched my father's father, in the same America that said colored water and white water, in the same America say so you can't shop there, you can't live there, you can't eat there. But one black man on this functional background got under the word and shook the devil off, took root in the word, stay connected to the word. So stay under pressure through the word. And the Bible said the food started coming. And just like Barack Obama, if you stand today with the audacity of faith, yeah, yeah, yeah. faith comes by hearing.
hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing. So I got to hear this word and make my mind up. I would never, I would never be unsuccessful another day of my life. I told him in Jamaica that I'm having a great time, but I miss my granddaughter. Okay. He said, but I make my mind up. I'm going to be so doggone successful. Huh. She'll need a dictionary to define what unsuccessful looks like. Because right. she won't experience it nor ever see it. That's right. And I've made my mind up that success is not about the, my car, yeah. my house. Yeah. You know how many folks know my name? Huh. Success is about making an impact in this generation that I live in. By, by leaving a legacy, yes, yes. by sowing the right kind of seed, where everybody comes behind me Come. will have a trail to follow. That's it, that's it, Pastor. I don't know that's it. what your ambitions are. Hmm. I don't know what your goals are. Higher, higher. But I pray Jesus. you will get under the word. Yes, yes, Lord. I pray you will allow the word to take you yes, and place you. And define you yes, Lord. into who it says that you are. Yes, Lord. And if who you are right now does not look like what the word says you are. Yes. I pray on this day, you make your mind up yes, Lord. to come to Jesus. Yes. Just as you are. Yes, Lord. But come to him and say, God, I just want to be with you. Yes, yes, Lord. I want to be in a place. Where I can get a real word. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yes, Lord. I'm sick and tired of being hollered at at church, yes, hollered at at work, hollered at home. Hmm. But I need a word. Yes, Lord. Yes, I need a word that can change my mind. Because at the end of the day, so is a man thinking. Yes, Lord. So is he. And until I change my thoughts, I'll never change my environment. Yes, Lord. I'll never change what's around me until I change my thoughts. Yes, Lord. So today I pray that you heard a word with no entertainment value. Yes, Lord. We strategically make sure we didn't entertain today. But we compromise nothing yes, Lord. to make sure you got the word yes, that can empower you yes, and change your life. Yes, Lord. I pray you were blessed on this morning. Give God some praise. That's my mind made up. Yes, I indeed. won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday